All right, back again. Okay, here we got. This is the, this is the the new motor. Now here's the deal. Now, in case you're wondering if if I uh, does this work or not, the truth of the matter is is yes. We've already uh, we already done. I can't tell you where. I can't tell you when. But what we did was was we've already entered this in a race. We already done. And we've already won. Okay, it won the last race that it entered. And it didn't win by a little bit either. It did it hands down going away. Now here's what here's the difference. This power head stays still and the lower unit is articulated. What happens now, all right, the power head stays perfectly streamlined. Now we can streamline this. We could even put a cowling on it. The carburetor stay in the cow. And you're wondering now what's that going to do for my fishing motor? Well imagine this. What if we didn't have to configure an outboard motor shaped like a barrel? What if we could make a, say, use a flat six, like a Porsche engine? What if the motor could be short to the back of the boat and flat and wide? What if you could stand on it and go fishing? What if you were totally unlimited on the amount of power that you can have an outboard motor to have? See, because now the torque of the motor is transferred through a motor mount directly into the tower housing, into the transom of the boat not in the steering. So what happens is the weight of the motor becomes irrelevant. All right? It's just how much it is. All right? And the boat has to be, you know, the transom has to be strong enough for it. But the most important thing is, is that we free the outboard motor and the way it's configured. Now, there's a couple of things that really help us here. First off is now, if we did a flat motor and we could have the room behind it, we can have an exhaust box that treats and catalyzes our exhaust and releases it above the water. And guess what happens then? Then the fish don't hear you coming. Okay? Now we can streamline our lower unit because those terrible club feet with that exhaust coming out that propeller, that was fine when Carl Kiekhofer designed it in 1957, 50 years ago, all right, 58 years ago as a matter of fact. That was fine. The motor made 45 horsepower. A bad motor was 70, and a fast boat was 35 miles an hour. The first thing that every boat racer does is change the lower unit. From the tiniest little deck on a race boat to the faster, the first thing he does is change the lower unit. The Achilles heel of a modern outboard motor, I hate to tell you, is flow through exhaust. You're dumping your exhaust on and that is a terrible thing for the daggone ocean and the rivers and streams that you're dumping that unmuffled exhaust through. Have you ever heard of sonar? Everybody has. We sound. What do you think an outboard motor exhaust sounds like under the water? It carries for miles. All right? It can absolutely win. And it was fine when you had 10 or 20 outboard motors or 100 outboard motors, even 1,000 outboard motors, but now you have hundreds of thousands of outboard motors. And they're very powerful and they're very loud. Why do you think you have to go to the daggone fishing site and wait for the fish to come back? They heard you coming. Okay? That's why you have trolling motors. The deal is when we have a powerboat race with these boats right here, the fish will come to where the race is. All right? We add oxygen into the water. We don't disturb the water. We do all kinds of things. But anyway, the lake is actually better than it was when we left it. But one of the greatest things that we discovered was how did that go and reconfigure the outboard motor to where it broke in the middle and it gimbaled in the middle. There is a special, and it's patent pending now, but there's a special set of tower housings that holds the motor directly in line. The power head is very, changes very, very quickly. And now we're free to place our uh, transmission anywhere we want it to. Um, you're going to see so many things, but the bottom line is the days of the outboard motor where the power head, tower housing, lower unit, the exhaust comes out in the lower unit and only has one gear forward. You know what I mean? Those days will be over very soon. What it is, is we're going to rewrite the book on how an outboard motor is done. What we're going to do this summer is we're going to campaign this boat, and using this motor in this configuration, we are going to daggone prove this concept. Well, we've already done it. It works pretty good. But um, we expect to, I, I, I intend to do nothing less than to simply demonstrate this and win every single race I enter. If I'm, <laughs> but that's another story. The bottom line is this. It works, we've proven it, and it's light years ahead of what's available today. Anyway, thanks for listening.